Greetings and welcome back to the town of Long Island, where we are still hauling vegetables. Many, many vegetables need to be hauled, and I only have one place through which they can move to do it. I'm sorry, everyone. This does take a long time, doesn't it? I need many more of these. Alas. <sighs> no, it's really fitted. That's the main problem over here. This this is basically a small port. This is not really meant to be the kind of large hub that I've had on other worlds. In fact, now that I've got this, I may set up a couple of airlocks and some landing pads, like multiples, one or two, three maybe. Let's see how we're doing there. Slowly filling up. There we go. We've almost finished holding it all. Ah, look at that. Our storage room does not look like a mess anymore. Hurrah! There we go. All these vegetables being hauled off. Many things being neglected as a result, though. Not good times in that regard. And there we are. Now you can bring in a very small number of medkits. But it's fine. Realistically, I sold most of that just to get it out of the me out of the storage room. Which is, you know, not the, the best way of doing things, but... Right. At this point, we're actually producing plenty of... Uh, medicinal herbs so why don't we go ahead and get another factory there another lab also I think we got rid of oh that must have been space chicken I'll just allow that to be space chicken there we go hello trade ship uh, very oh that's good. I mean, I just did buy a load of medicine. Oh, I should have just waited for you. I really should have. Ore-wise, I mean, I wouldn't mind taking on more ore. Because I can turn that into the metal myself. that and then there we go <laughs> again you must all rush out there and start hauling things I am really sorry I am a scallywag I know I know I hope that one day you will be able to forgive me I know you probably won't but I live in hope Almost burnt through all of our power. But the night is almost over. Once we've got three batteries, then I'm going to feel a lot better about about these uh, nights and not adding more solar power uh, solar panels. There we go. Still haven't even brought in all of the medical supplies yet. You get. There we are. Oh, that sounded almost like the uh, danger music. Go ahead and build that for now. You're going to need a little while to be able to bring all of that in. It's fine. But we will now have extra metal being produced. We've got enough ore to satisfy that manufacturing need now. Several times over, in fact. Right, how are we doing for food? Hopefully we've still got a fair amount of nice meals, no? Salads? Okay, well that's fine. We definitely don't need any more... Well, we don't actually need any more starch or food. We're running these almost to capacity. And we're soon going to have a new battery as well. 
Oh, we're getting to the end of night with wind at really good speeds before our batteries are fully charged. So, realistically, this would be the point where I might want to upgrade this to the next tier of solar panel and then add another battery as well. Because I feel that we'd probably be able to uh, very comfortably charge quite a large amount of batteries at that point. How are we doing down here? Not too bad. Still waiting on some metal being delivered, but it's been given a priority to go to constructions right now. The dorm is, wow, practically full. Let's go ahead and add another bunk. There you go. Right. Well, I think adding in... If I add one of these in first. I think three telescopes is all I really needed in the last game. I don't think I have more than that. Oh, really? Uh, it's okay, you've got a terrible commission anyway. But I don't think having more than that actually helped me in any way. We will definitely need more power if we're going to run that many telescopes, though. No two ways about it. We will need more power at that point. Let's get that hooked up. Loads of medicines. Decent amount of spares. crazy amount of starch and ore at this point so yes all things told it's not going too terribly badly we are going to need more engineers though because i'm fairly certain this requires an engineer yes so okay Um, yeah, wouldn't mind popping that down to a worker. We can get a second mine going once we have an opportunity and we've built an extra processing plant. How are we doing that? Okay. Right, you're gone. Dunk. Now all we need are enough uh, pieces of metal to be able to set all of that up again for a large, or rather a very large solar panel. Spares-wise, that'll be delivered to the spares manufacturer first. Oh, what's up? Frederick, you're very unhappy. I hate to see you like this, man. You're also very sleepy. There are no beds. Is that a worker? Yes, it was. That's actually pretty good. But we do definitely need the bed. In fact, given everything, I'm going to build another two. And by two, I mean three. If I was building two, I may as well go the full hog and just completely finish off that room. Is what I was thinking. Ooh, now this interests me. I mean, it's not terrible, but... I mean, I could sell all of that off, but I don't really want to. Good enough for me. Make the trade for a drill bot. That will be an enormous help. They're more efficient and they 
don't need to stop, basically. Though getting a repair pad for my bot is now actually a fairly worthwhile thing to consider doing. Now we're not going to be bringing in our metal for a little while, unfortunately. But we are making more med kits pretty much at a constant basis at this point. Lots of starch just in there. Getting a bot factory is actually a fairly high priority at this point. Having a load of carry bots would be grand. But there are going to be a number of things I'm going to need to build before that point. This whole room is taking 1.5 power. That's fine. It doesn't seem that these actually take power unless they're being manned, which is kind of awesome. Only a little bit needs to be delivered. There we go. And they're off. Goodbye! Welcome, Drillbot! I am pleased. Oh no, Miner! You are hurt! Fortunately, we've got a replacement for you. We did have to trade some medical supplies for the replacement, but don't worry. We've got more than enough to treat you. Right, there we are. That should do for now. It'll take a little while to get all of the metal out there, but it looks like we've actually got enough. Yeah, wow. That's a little bit surprising, honestly. Spears-wise, uh, we could do with a bit more. Hello, colony ship. Let's have a look how much we got. Got seven biologists, seven workers, five engineers. Need more. Four medics, zero guards. You know what I'm going to... Oh, well, actually, that is on 5%, so it is just a matter of waiting. Need one more metal to be delivered, and we're good. There we are. Right, well, given that, then, it is probably time for us to consider building... A another factory. Again, I would prefer well I prefer the idea of having small specialized factories so that I don't need to worry about prioritizing the wrong thing. It's gonna take a while to build this. But we'll hook it up. There we go. Fifty-five percent commission? Uh, mm, no, I don't think so. Okay, time to everyone inside now. That's right, get back in. No, 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 the other way, the other way. That's right, get back in. Thank you. You guys doing okay? Yes, looks like you are. Phew. Could have been risky. What? Why are you outside? No. You fool. Well, drat. In no uncertain terms. Get to med bay right now. Please hurry up. Radiation poisoning pretty much kills... I think it's the fastest killer. You can recover from it, but you need to be seen to right away. 
There are certain things like the fractured bone doesn't seem to... Uh, oh, I think it stopped. Uh, yeah, it seems to be over now. But the fractured bone doesn't seem to cause too much trouble. You can just have that fracture for a long time without ever really needing to uh, deal with it. However, radiation poisoning will kill you very quickly. Wounds, I think, will kill you moderately quickly. I could be wrong, though. I, it might be a, a flip between radiation and wounds over which one is fastest. Malnutrition, I'm not even sure if that'll kill you. It'll just stop you from working. It may kill you, given long enough, but I've never, never seen it kill someone. Obviously, actually starving kills fairly quickly. Our spears are going up. Just need... Wait, 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 wait. Why am I building a large factory? No, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do. Damn it. Ugh. Need to be a factory, damn you. Must have uh, mouse wheeled a little bit too much. How's everyone doing? Oh man, you're gonna have to bring all of this in. You're gonna be very angry at me. <sighs> Well, while all of that's going on, let's have a look at what else we can start looking into. At this point, I would very much like the telescopes. They take two to four. Worth going for the larger ones, in my opinion, with the telescopes, because they have that much better of a contribution to your chance of noticing something about to happen. But once we've got those, the anti-meteor laser will be the very next thing we work on. More workers. I think at this point... Yeah, we're at the 25, so we're going to put a halt on taking more colonists. And we're going to observe the situation for a little bit. Make sure everything is okay. Definitely need another canteen over there, I think. Ooh. How much? 45% commission? Um... Hmm... I know I said I wouldn't. I know. Damn it. Really want more drill bots. We've got a carry bot too. No, I just wanted the drill bots at the moment. We'll be making our own bots soon enough. I'm actually trading away my space. Oh, wretched. These drill bots will mean I have less workers in there. Plus, the ores will be coming out much, much faster. There we go. Get this factory back, shall we? Thank you. <laughs> you only just got back in there. Like, oh, make up your mind. That's what I imagine them saying. Now, bot factory. I can build it here. That would be awesome. Could even build a large one there. Let's go ahead and hook these up. I absolutely want that done. Now, the reason I'm hooking it up like this is because, simply, these will be used over here. They'll also be used up there. This will use these and these. So, having all of these extra connections should actually help. Well, we've almost built it all as well. I'm actually pretty impressed. Just need an engineer to finish that, and we need one bioplastic and one more metal, and then we're finished over there as well. On the whole, not bad, not bad at all. 
currently discharging our batteries, which is, eh, you know, not great. I'm considering building an extra wind turbine. But I want to see... Because we haven't actually filled these batteries up for a long time. We may just be operating so close to the the limit now. Let me check on my grids. Oxygen-wise, we don't want to take on more colonists before we build another oxygen area. And we'll probably build it somewhere over here as well. But Right, let's get in here. What we want is a semiconductor foundry. Only one, though. I want the priority given to spares. Power storage is low. It's fine. We're about to enter daytime. But that is a concern. That is definitely a concern. This is going isn't going to improve things at all. Which one is filling? If any of them. There we are. Hmm. I do think that having another large wind turbine will help. It's full metal, but... I want to see these batteries full. For the time being... Oh no, really? You fool! Go! Turn inside! I knew it was going to happen eventually. Very pleased I caught it this time. Um, no, I'm going to be making my own bots shortly, so. Let's get a bot auto repair. Like that. It's going to take a little while to make. That's fine. Can't believe you built yourself in. Also, can't they just like add ladders over these? I don't know, like a rope net or something. Just for such occasions, I think it would be particularly awesome myself. But this is quite a concern. We do definitely need this setup. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Scallywax. That is all. We're going to need another three there. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough power to get through the night, honestly. May need to shut some things down. Ah, there we go. Well done. Bunch of metal being moved over. Okay, if we can get this up, then we should be alright. We need another one metal delivered. Are being hauled? No. Alas. Have we even got it made? No, not yet. How's it doing? We may make it through the night, but just on the off chance. Shutting down non-essentials for now. There we go. Just trying to give this as much more juice as we can get for it. Ugh, damn it. If we can get an engineer out here right now, I'd be incredibly grateful. Just one engineer to go and build that thing for me. Come on! Yes? Yes, maybe yes? I think yes? Okay. There we are. Okay, we'll power these back on. Uh, in fact, with that wind, this is going to be powering up very, very quickly. That's beautiful. More batteries, though, I think. Definitely more batteries. And we will have a bot... Repairer, just as soon as we get one more 
process uh, semiconductor but that's going to be it for this episode i do hope you've liked it and will be joining me for the next and remember i always welcome feedback so if you have any comments do leave them on the video below whether you've seen me do something wrong or you just have a suggestion about something i could be doing better perhaps you have the game yourself and have learned some lessons that you'd like to share then i will am all ears or rather eyes as the case may be but that is going to be it from me so until next time do take care.